Guys, guys, Comic Convos, we're back. Welcome everyone to Comic Convos, our weekly discussion on the latest in the geek verse, man. Yes. Everything that's going on in movies, comics, TV shows, and video games. Guys, we got it here. I'm, and I'm here to tell you, this week is a huge episode. Huge. Oh man, the movie. So th for those who don't know, if you haven't read the title, if you don't haven't been keeping up with what's keeping up, this week's about Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians 2. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, man. That movie. We went together right after the podcast last week, yep. actually. Had to go together. Leo convinced me I couldn't not go. Yep. I came back from New York. What else was I going to do? So we went and saw it. And like you said, this is no spoilers because we really can't give you any information about yeah, the content no of the video. Content. We can tell you about the quality. You know, we can tell you it was a good movie. It was a great movie. Yeah, I mean, it was a spectacular movie. I thought, man, like I thought it was a great from the sequel, moment we started it was a... sitting down and enjoying the movie, it got better and better from there. Oh, it, it was like yeah, the every movie, single scene to me was just the movie was a hundred percent up. You know, that has the the typical mountainy, you know, a little bit that happens, but it was, but it, was it was a hundred percent. And then, well, yeah, better than the first. I'm I need time. Yes. I need to see it I'm more. Going yes, I'm gonna say yes because of. What a lot of people were complaining about. So, so a lot of the complaints of early reviews that I saw were about the plot line of the movie. And I actually disagree entirely. I think that the true plot line of this movie, which will be apparent when you watch it, is powerful and compelling. And it's, I mean, I was oh, talking with just my family about yeah. this afterwards. Yeah. I mean, you know it what was mean? such a good theme with my a great movie. It was amazing. That brought some great characters together. It made certain characters make sense. That's the best thing I like about this movie is the fact that certain characters actually make sense now. Surround sound stereo again. Hmm? I don't know. They said we were on surround sound. I don't... But uh, thank you, Mikey and Susie, for being here. We do recognize thank you, you. Thank you for the heart. Thank you we're, so much. You know, feel free to like, share, comment. You know, you guys are already in the running for the prize this week. Which, yep. which is the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 poster. Totally left it, but we're going to definitely post a picture we of have it, it after the cast. For sure. It's it's cool stuff, and then uh, actually, you know, we have. Let me see. I should have it right. Thanks for the love, Susie. You no, know, we could probably give this away as well. Unfortunately, mine got bent. Uh oh. Well, you know, we have one of the actually the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two special 3D tickets as well. I mean, if you guys haven't seen these, they're a uh, 3D collectible that are at Regal Cinemas. Really good. They're club quality to be a part stuff. Of. They're Unfortunately, quality. mine got damaged because I have. A million things going on here. I actually even found. I was so glad uh, that it was okay. I found some of my art that I knew I was missing. I told you uh -oh. I was like, "Where was this?" And it was, was it in my good? like for it was. It was all good. Thank except goodness. that. Except well, for this. unfortunately, that's good that the art got saved though. Right. What's up, Adam? Welcome to the room, man. Tonight How's we're talking going? about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, guys. What did you think? Tell us what was your favorite scene. I mean. Try not to spoil. We're trying to all right. keep, I keep mean, good uh, here. But... It's very hard to do, you know, to do the favorite scene thing without spoiling. How about <sighs> if beginning, middle, end? What was your what favorite was your part? favorite part? Your favorite yeah. portion. Favorite portion. And I guess what was kind of like one of your favorite parts? Actually, you know, what? Uh, this was a great one. Who was your? This isn't a spoiler at all. Who was your favorite <laughs> character? Because oh, there are no man. new characters in this episode, really, except for Mantis, who we know that, about from the. Yep. From the comics, and and we also know a little bit from. Was she in something else? Nah, I think this no, was her first she, debut. This on is her debut, her screen debut. Yep, but right. she does have the trailer, which we see her. You know, I I feel love. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got to know her a little so, bit before. And seeing that's it. the other thing uh, we can reference. <laughs> any, well, we will reference any trailers. Trailer I guess. Stuff. I'm sorry, those aren't spoilers in my opinion. Those. Oh no, those are pre for things months. that They're yeah, they've been out. You know, and even even if not, you guys, you know, if you really care that much, you would, uh, you know, you'd be watching for those, right? You'd be watching the trailers, like oh, the trailers are so good, they were guys. Good. And you... and they did not spoil anything. Oh, oh Spider Man, especially the end we well, we haven't one. seen it though. We I know we haven't. We can't what say that it's entire... complete. There's a plot right behind the glass like, of that trailer. Because I was that almost, trailer guys. After seeing Spider Man, I was almost worried about that for Guardians. Because then they did the whole ego reveal. Yeah. Oh, Peter, I'm your father. I mean, and that was fine. I mean, that was enough for me. And, but and, like, geez, the Spider Man one oh, went man. into so much detail, so much. guys. Like Iron if Man you takes don't, if you're not, away. If you, yeah. Like, I mean, like, it's these are much. not spoilers again. It's from the trailer, but he took the suit away, and it just was oh. 
It was awful. Because yeah, we have not seen Spider Man. Trust me. We would. Anyone who has Hawkins, preview stuff uh, for Spider Man, Nebula would love to. got some Nebula fans. Ooh, yes, Nebula. We Nebula even had a chance this. to pick up my prize. Ha uh-huh. ha. Yeah, just shoot us a message, Kevin, and we'll definitely meet up with you. We will meet up and get you your yeah, prize. Yeah, since you're in Denver, bro. Uh, wait, what? Father. You need to go watch go that watch trailer. trailer. Go watch There's the trailer. There's a trailer. Susie. It Guardians reveals the the, the, his father. A little disappointed that it didn't connect to the MCU as much as the first film. I mean, yeah, I, but they kind of needed their own little. They they needed their own movie. I felt like like there was some connection to the MCU in the first one, and that was that was good. But they needed their own. They needed their own, own thing. building movie, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I, I won't be so lucky to win twice. It took long enough to win once. <laughs> uh, hey, Clay Hawkins. Thank you for coming in. Nebula was the best in that movie. She did such a great thing. Oh, Susie avoids trailers. When what? Possible. Oh, okay. Well, well you got to go fine. check that one out, Susie. It's a really good one. Well, like I said, if people don't want to do I I used to do that as well, where I just totally avoided But the I want to know a little bit about, like a little bit more about it. I want to be informed when I walk in. I mean, that's true. That's, that's true. That's just how I feel. Um, I especially do now, remember viewing sure. movies now. Well, what, the, I, do, what and... I do now, I have to be informed or else exactly. I get caught blindsided. Before, as a consumer, I used to really love not watching any trailers and not knowing just anything about it. Knowing a movie. that it's coming out. Yeah, just then... boom, surprise. Yeah. Oh, man, this that, is great. Those were the good oh, days. Sometimes man. it was not great. Sometimes it was, oh, man, this is a piece of. But, you know. Just as a film junkie, I just got to know what's going on. I have Apparently, to know. I don't have to see it now. I would, well, I guess you don't have to see that trailer. I'm sorry, we didn't know you didn't watch trailers. <laughs> yeah, if, if we're trailer spoiling, we're sorry, but we apologize. it is published. And it's uh, been out for a while. It's been out. Yeah, Probably and no like, offense, you know, we don't mean to offend. Let us know if we have. We don't mean to offend. We're just talking about the stuff that's already been published. It's I don't crazy. watch TV, so I don't see trailers. All my trailers I see on YouTube. YouTube, Mikey. yeah. I see them on all kinds of websites. That's where I see them all, all on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, not even just YouTube, but like Facebook mostly, actually. I get, but I follow the Guardians of the Galaxy page and the Marvel page and the. Uh, speaking of which, we're gonna sidetrack a little bit from uh, Guardians, and we're gonna talk it's about so other recent latest recent films. Yeah, Fate of the, Fate of the Furious, Furious, which, which was pretty dang good, actually. Did you check was, it out? I did. It was a good sequel. It was. I, I was like, okay, maybe this can be the last one. You know, and then they're like, no, they're gonna do yeah, there's one. gonna be another. But, it, it, well, they yeah. they all could have been the last one. Uh, we also Since talked about five. how Ghost in the Shell wasn't as bad as you know people were making it out. No, to be it really sometimes. wasn't. I mean, yeah, there was some whitewashing going on, but like things change in the end, and you'll see what happens. And it's oh crazy. man, Susie's like, it's all my bad for not seeing the movie yet. I guess, <laughs> I guess it is. That's <laughs> no, okay, okay, Susie. Susie. We we still love we you. embrace. We, we we don't always see the movies right away either. Well, oh, well does. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> we, I do. Um, by the way, guys, King Arthur, tonight. Oh, That is coming out tonight, guys, yep. and it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Now, I can't say, but it looks Game of Thrones-esque. It's got that swashbuckling action. I, it's got kind of like a Game of Thrones feel to it. So I'm like, okay, I'm interested. Now, here's my thing. I heard it got really bad reviews on Rotten not, Tomatoes. Yeah. So, I was like, so, let's not talk so about because that. of that, now I have really high expectations for how good it should be because I don't trust the shit That's out of Rotten true. Tomatoes yeah. a lot of the time. Well, uh, yeah, they do I, some I, accurate I, stuff, I, but I on new them, stuff, so. they are often just... Maybe uh, new yeah. stuff, but I look at reviews only. I couldn't watch Those Ghost in the Show. I found it incredibly boring. Yeah, yeah, there was that a lot was of scenes that were just like... We talked about how like cut. you could skim through a lot yeah, of that movie. Yeah, you could snip a lot of the movie. I heard K.A. is terrible. King, King Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. Uh, we've heard things, uh, but you never judge it. until we come in with it. Even if we see... I no still want to check it out, but if It looked interesting enough, and I like the King Arthur myth- and mythos enough. And I also enough. liked uh, Sons of Anarchy. So oh, yeah. I it's... like, I like uh, Charlie Hunnam, his name. Yeah, I like that dude. So, so apart from that, we have Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah, Dead Pirates. Men's Tale, No Tales, and Wonder Woman coming up soon. What do you guys think of Pirates coming back, though? Isn't that I, insane? Like, I thought I'm like, it was I a don't... good ending with the third, Dang, and then I they was went... Like, farther uh, anyway and then I'm we're like, in right. five now I'm i like, know Ugh. four but, wasn't that bad but i like movies in threes so now they have to go to six no yeah, matter what you're right about that it's That's, like if you hit that four mark you got to just go all the way to six pretty much that or you have to do prequels. but i mean 
Furious 8. Here we are. Well, that's what I'm saying. So They're going to go to nine. 9. Yeah, that's exactly my point. It goes in threes on movies a lot of time. They follow the Star Wars. No need for pirates for more pirates movies. I feel that way. But I, I've been hearing decent things about it, believe it or not. I'm like... I mean, all the pirate movies are decent, but I agree with... Uh, Clay and the there's fact that much, there's huh? just no real need for another one. We've there's seen not. the antics. What what's the new gimmick? What's the latest thing? Right, that's right. Out? What is yeah, gonna keep me interested? Because in? the last one was a little lackluster. Let's not lie about the uh Found a yeah. Youth writer. I can barely even remember the story. It's like, come on. Third three was awesome. The first three were amazing, but after that we were just like Are you talking about Fast and Furious? No, 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 I'm talking about pirates oh yeah yeah after three i was just they had this great built-up ending to where will became davy jones <laughs> yes it so and good. like it was like yes and sean bean is in k don't get attached to his character yeah, yeah. oh man <laughs> we're for like, real <laughs> don't hate on pirates we're not hating on pirates no, i'm we're just not. saying it's the just last like, pirates was was me I mean, the, the last, to the, me, in my mind, the three should have been the last one, guys. That should have been the three last one. Three should have been the it last one. Been, it would have made it. the perfect trilogy. It would have been a great little box oh, bundle Oh, yeah, because for then at the point... And now I have to up, buy another bundle. It's like, and I throw up my... Meatly, you know what I, I mean? It's like, it would have wrapped up, and it would have just easily been the end of the trilogy, and it would have been like, boom, epic. Okay, you can explore another right. story in this lore, or you can like, go to other you characters. Do? But we're always at Jack Sparrow, and now we're going back to right. Will Turner being in it. And it's like, and it's gonna go along I... the same problem that I think the eventually Fast and Furious and Star Wars hit is like, what? When do you stop writing stories for these characters? And then Star Wars is like, once we end, apparently this is what Mark Hamill is saying. He thinks he has perceived that Disney's going to end the slash trilogy and only do anthology films of the characters now. Susie's just like, no! Nah. And, and prequels. Uh, what's up, Susie's Judson? Susie's like, no! Nah. What's up, man? Uh, Fast and Furious needs to stop bringing villains back. Yeah, you got that right. I agree. Yeah, they just repeat, vill they recycle villains Ooh, all the, the time. How the about Inhumans the Inhumans teaser was, was great, amazing. Kevin. The, 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 the poster was great. Did you actually see the... The, the spreads? The, well, no, the, 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 they did a small, small teaser. We got seven yeah, ten second a audio very, teaser. Very small teaser. I, didn't and they have a it's the all actual, like, 30 second teaser though? They do I think they do have an actual thirty second teaser. I didn't teaser. see that one. You oh, said No, no, no. That's I think that's the runaways teaser. Is the thirty no, second teaser. I thought that was I'm telling you. Alright, well let's look like, Yeah, let's let's, look. let's Google it. Because I thought gonna... inhumans. inhumans. Maybe maybe it is actually runaways. I, I swear the inhumans teaser was ridiculously short. Yeah, look. That's Comic Con's ah. official one, so let's see. Last year, oh yeah no they did do a big one yeah. but that that one i remember it was a whole no 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 this is a rip isn't it no dude i don't know what that is i have not seen that i'll be honest with you i swear this was not yeah this isn't uh this is a this is a combo of the uh of some footage of something in the uh oh Washington. gotcha so it ain't, it ain't no no no, no the trailer. marvel but this is the 30 second marvel one which is 30 seconds <gasps> yeah but the 30 second marvel yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I thought. Yep, this is it. And remain inside. It's all Maximus talking. Basically, what I what I would su assume is with uh, Queen Medusa. Should we do a trailer reaction real quick? Yeah, do you guys want to see a trailer, trailer reaction? reaction? Yeah, tell, we'll tell actually us what do you a... think. What do you guys think? I'm um, gonna have my people call Ryan Reynolds. Well, how about <laughs> Deadpool show? That's great. Black Bolt looks awesome. He does the teaser poster. Didn't, didn't look, look super, super great. great. The no, they didn't. Application was great. I thought Medusa didn't look clean. I agree with all of that. Yeah, same. I also Wasn't. wanted the mask for Black. Bolt, we talked about it. I wanted the mask. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. I I'm, said I'm okay I wanted it. it. He's said no, but I think. Well, I Daredevil think that, was I great with his costume. I, I feel like the teaser poster did not look clean. Like it looked very like thrown cake. together. Yeah, very. It quickly. looked very thrown. It together. almost looked like it did, oh, it here's a real quick up, will call. And I wasn't down for um, it. I was like, okay, but yeah. It's up to you guys. What do you think about place. the guy, the trailer reaction, guys? Do you guys want to see us? Do you want to see a trailer reaction real quick? Would you guys like to see that? I mean, let us know. We don't want to jump out of the conversation. Yeah, we want to make sure we're here talking with you guys. Yep. But no, nah, I mean, it looks like it's going to be great, man. I've been, I mean, all the casting Did looks you, great. Oh, man, there's so much stuff coming out. Dude Marvel from Game is, of Thrones God, is in so there. In yeah, humans. the yeah. Max, Maximus and Max, whatever his name is. And the mm -hmm. other one is Mac. I think it's also I look Max. shoddy. <laughs> what? Do it. Uh, oh, we got some lag. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do the trailer reaction. Oh, I know why. It's probably because we're playing that and I have these. I'm going to just share this later when I need to. Yeah, that's why. 
unplug my computer so I can get all them tabs down. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna do our trailer reaction. We're gonna be looking in this direction. Well, I'll try to move it real quick so we're looking at least that way a bit. Um, this is the Marvel Inhumans, Inhumans first teaser, guys. This is the official Marvel Inhumans first teasers audio only. Actually, I mean, yeah, they don't, it, they don't show anybody. They really don't. It's just uh, it's a great little clip. It's about thirty-two seconds. We'll share it on the page as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, here check it out. And I've seen it before, and it's still it's just such it a powerful. It was just an audio clip, but man, that powerful voice with that. Yeah, he has a very, dialogue. Yes, yeah, such good dialogue. <sighs> uh, I mean, the, that the, script oh. sounds like it's gonna be super clean if they're oh, talking like yeah. this. If they're talking like that, it, it feels very Games of Thrones. Yeah, like, it you know, does. It feels cool, like, like exciting. Very. Like, uh, we're posting that link right link. now on our page, guys. So yeah, if you feels, wanted to just check see it out. That in, um, uh, Inhumans teaser right on the page right now. I'll go ahead and share it in the group as well. But guys, it it's so powerful. The voices just echo. It, you can feel it. Like the the echo, the way he delivers it. It's, just like, it, yeah. it's also very the dialogue. It's is also good. very you know Maximus. It's very cunning, very like powerful. Oh yeah. It's just brooding. You know. Very oh, much so. It's so awesome. good. I love it. Can't come. Karnak does look a little bad. Yeah, Carla, <laughs> Karnak looks quite bad. <laughs> but <laughs> how are you gonna do a good Karnak? Let's be honest. Like, how would you, you gonna, can try to uh, modernize him like you did some of the other suits? Just saying. Not just the suit. I think he's saying. I think he's saying the whole. Which yeah, I the agree, whole, the whole, yeah, the whole. But how do you make bad. a character who looks like Karnak? Very true. Right. You know what I mean. That's just my opinion there. But I do agree. Um. So that was uh all right, we'll see you in a while, Susie. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. But guys, uh so tell us if you saw that trailer, what did you think? Or what did you think of the reaction? He to needs the know. hooded look. The hooded, hooded look. look would be pretty good, Clay. Hmm. I agree. I really like the hooded look on Karnak. It's a very stylish style. I haven't seen him. it actually. You haven't seen it in the comics? It's so oh. awesome. So awesome. Mind of pulling it up real quick, like yeah, yeah. we'll put up a ho hooded Karnak. Let's check this out. I've so not Karnak, seen this yet. This is Harnack's, Karnak's hooded look. It is oh. by far probably <clears throat> his best look. Wow, that's good, guys. Like right here. Nice. Pretty, pretty much the classic Marvel hoodie look. Mm -hmm. on, looks Brooding pretty, as heck. Yeah, and well, and he is a, he is such a broody guy. I am not going to lie to yeah. you. Karnak is the broodiest of the Inhumans, and that's coming from a king and a queen and a whole fa royal family yeah a whole stuff. royal family of people who are just like oh man and there's no offense to him it's just like he is and, and i think it's because his power so those who don't know we'll talk a little bit about humans before we go back to guardians for a while and talk about stuff you know karnak's oh. powers and it's not actually a supernatural power it's a power he learned that's what power, hmm. people think it's his inhuman power karnak has not undergone terrogenesis at all really at all I, th I thought at least maybe he did and that's his power but hmm. maybe he was prior to yeah so you haven't read too much in humans i have yet. but I, oh. but sometimes stuff gets mixed up i don't I, think black bolt needs the mask it's too silly for live oh, action man, that's I, how i felt clay i, was I thought like, it, i too, think too it's much a, too much it's so it'll be light. like sticking scarlet witches that mask, thing is so man. small like See, the ma uh, even just uh, the actual nah, man. black mask nah because i feel like seeing black bolt's face is just so uh, or he could even have the hood, you know what I mean? Or a have hood like with a yeah, mask. anything, anything. But you don't look, you don't look Black Bolt just like straight in the face. That's not how it works, <laughs> man. I I do remember like a quick reference though. I do they remember. They can in, be um, a bit of a slow read, although the new Inhuman stuff is pretty quick. Speaking of masks over characters, though, in the Defenders trailer, I totally thought Daredevil's Iron Fist for a second. I know because the of the thing. thing I thought the same the thing, but then you see on. Danny right next to yeah, him. Yeah, I was like, like, wait what? a minute. <laughs> What's going on? But then that Defenders trailer is awesome with that because it's like, oh man, look. he 
It's like, you look dumb in that scarf. Well, it's your it's it's scarf. scarf. <laughs> like, oh, man. Uh, he's awesome. Inhumans are awesome. Daisy Johnson is great. Inhumans are awesome. Mm-hmm. Anson Mount has those intimidating looks, though. Yeah. I oh, mean, Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2 is so terrible. Oh, man. Oh, I've, man. I've, I've, I've heard tell these opinions, that. but yeah, let, please let, tell let us, us why you feel that. Why do you feel that way? We really liked it, though. Like, we really liked it, so... We're, it's I, just I've got such it. poor dynamic themes. It's very good. It's very good. Very good character development. Very good. Even the, the looks, the set. I felt like Rocket was animated better, oh, and I felt like a lot of the characters oh, were cleaned up in a, like the wardrobe and I stuff. Think, I great. think they took everything that was great about the first Guardians of the Galaxy. And just made it even better. Yeah, pretty much. With very few... Like, we talked about it, my one concern being earlier when we were watching in the movie... I thought that there might be too much comedy. Yeah, but that, but, but but it as wasn't. It went on. No, it was there fine. Was a lot it was less. Like, uh, I felt like there was Jessica some. Jessica Jones, stop speaking. Who, who who the hell are you? I'm Matt Murdock, and I'm your attorney. Oh yeah, yeah that's so that's great. A good one. That interaction is great. I'm the immortal Iron Fist. <laughs> you what? You <laughs> know. <laughs> it was great, except for Mantis. She did absolutely nothing. I mean, she did a little bit. She did bit. some stuff. She, she just wasn't so heavily here's involved the thing. like these other characters. No. And, and that's because she's a new character. It seems like whenever they introduce these like new characters, si- they're side-ish. You know, like Well, Yondu it's very much like, so like the side Mantis the this episode reminds me kind of how Yondu was in the first exactly. episode. Exactly. Like, you don't get you don't a lot get of them. Ton, they're but... almost not, you know, good and bad and like, uh, what's up But her them? ability is just amazing. Yeah, that oh. was pretty awesome. She's the best. Wow. All right. So Josh says, I personally love number two because of their action. And I like Ronan and Thanos and everything is all just together more actions, but I think it was the storyline. I mean, number one. All right, so I. Oh, I number understand one. why that's why you like number one for that, but why not like number, number two? Number two, it's got a very good storyline. It's actually got. It seems like there's multiple things going on at once. There are. Well, there's two storylines running at once concurrently. Uh, I think it's. I ones. think it definitively has more action than the first oh, one yeah. by far. By far. Um, being a monster you know but that's my personal opinion yeah uh, i see the trailer there you, you see in the trailers they're fighting that monster there's obviously i mean a lot and, of action and even there. the comedy and the like music scenes and stuff like even the very first five minutes of that movie might be comparable to like most of guardians right <laughs> i was like that was awesome oh, but that's my per- more character development that's exactly, exactly that was the best part where si, it. si is not here tonight Susie. he's, he's uh, out been dragged out to drink and that's good <laughs> yeah, hey have like, fun drink for us man. Uh, yeah we need um, Rich Rider. That's all I'm going to say. Rich Rider would be awesome. Yeah, it would. Yes, sir. Let me get Nova up in here. See that power. But I don't think we're going to get Nova until Tell we me. get Adam Warlock. Yeah, it, it's going to be Which we've had hints about getting Adam Warlock. I was going to say a couple seasons. we got to wait. Uh, Baby thanks. group. Best group. Nice. That reminds me of but thank you all very much for coming out tonight, by the way. Comment combos, Seriously. guys. This is our 17th episode. Oh, my goodness. And, guys, feel free to share. We definitely are giving out prizes tonight. We have um, the ticket, the collectible ticket, and we have a poster as well drawn by a local artist. And, yeah, we're going to definitely paste her name one more time, promote her a little bit, and then because the person didn't pick up that the poster. Oh, really? Yeah, the, so respond. we'll have to take It's actually Frankie then. Okay. The, you're talking about the rocket one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll tag him again. His name is uh, Frankie. He's, he's a well, we got the there. ticket, and then we got a couple comics as well. We'll post the other thing. The uh, we can do that next time. But we yep. have those those. Uh, f- uh, what's the word? Happy 17th episode. Only up from here. Hey, thank, thank you. you so much, Susie. Guys. You have not. Uh, you have been in every been episode. Ev- yeah, you've been awesome every time. Thank you guys so much for the love. And yeah, feel free to share, guys. We're here to enjoy the discussion. And everybody's here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy and a lot of the other upcoming stuff. Speaking of upcoming stuff, in the TV a little bit, has anybody seen the latest episode of Flash? <sighs> Let me tell you, man. You got to get caught up on Flash. You got to do you the Flash. Well, There's... I'm caught up. I um, caught up finally. I mean, did? I'm just telling people. Yeah, yeah I finally caught do, up. It's so flash. crazy. I mean, whew, Savitar is a savage. Just we knew that. We knew this. <laughs> this is some crazy stuff. It is some crazy guys. Craziness in the Flash. And if you're behind, I can't even. I like, mean, try it's to really, it. really good. I will say, I'm still not fully caught up on Arrow. It's gonna take a little while there, but I hear this recent return of the season is amazing. Uh, I've so heard far. a lot of good things about it, and yep. I'm hoping 
We're hoping that there's going to be so much stagnant, more good stuff. You know, feeling. Yeah, that it stays this way. It stays that way of being super exciting and stuff. And I hear that Legend Season 2 is amazing. Um, I hear that Supergirl Season 2 is really good. And yeah, that's much better than DH, Season 1, which is good. DH Lawless and Cy both said those were good. Um, oh, man. So, I knew BA Time Remnant was savage. Whoa, 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 with those spoilers, whoa, no guys. Spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers in Got to be careful reading, too. Hold get, on. Get spoilers. Savitar is awesome. Yeah, I didn't yes, get yeah. into I didn't get into who it was. I have, but I thought that's so Arrow is awesome. Whoa. Prometheus is the boss. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Prometheus is a boss, though. Arrow is awesome. Prometheus is the boss. It's really intense. We're gonna have to check out more of that. I've only seen a bit, yeah. but I've heard a, I've heard a lot of good stuff. <laughs> this George, just be be calm on the spoilers, man. No, not too much spoiling. Too many spoilers, and you know people won't like us. I think he kind of shortened it though to say that. But no, still, no, no, I know, no, no. It's, it's a little too close, little you know what much, I mean? We yeah. know, we know. too much. But no, uh, thanks for joining, Thanks Izzy. for joining, everyone. Uh, man, Jeez, all right, so let's talk, about, let's talk about a couple more past series yeah, and some sorry, series. Susie. What do we think about the Defenders coming up and, in retrospect, the, oh, the shows? Defenders, oh my goodness. And the upcoming shows, yeah, like here's you're saying, thing, season two, Jessica think, Jones, and season two, Luke Cage, season three, Daredevil. Someone, someone's got to correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's anything ever been anything like the Defenders. No, there hasn't. Where there, where where there were Netflix four shows series coming, out coming out into... Connect, connecting like that? Yeah, no, coming, it has not I happened. mean, they were all designed to come into this, basically, except for the original season of Daredevil. Yep, Every which other was show was it, designed then, to come boom. together. Yep. It was like Iron Man and then Iron Man 2 and the rest of them came in. You know, it's the same. It's had that first season just to test it out. Yep, see the water. has, boom. Second season got greenlit, so all of them do. Yep. <sighs> Jeez, amazing. don't spoil. Oh, he's not really... Oh, man, you will never find out until you watch it. Jessica Jones, she's wicked awesome. She's awesome, but man, I cannot... My brother tried to watch it the other day, Jessica Jones. He got one episode in. Couldn't not do even, it? Couldn't do it. Dang, I, man. I, it's, I didn't... It's, it's hard to stomach, but I mean... The second season seems like it might be a little bit better. Hopefully things pick up. Uh, I'm hoping so because I think she's into her own now and she's passed a lot of the, a lot of the problems and things. Except on Iron Fist season. is terrible. I've heard that a lot of people didn't like Iron Fist. Uh, yeah, I thought it was I pretty good. Was good. Uh, but I, thought I really Fist liked was that really good, character. Actually. Yeah, my thing about Iron Fist is like, guys, the gracefulness, that's kind of like what true martial artists do. They gracefully defeat their opponents, you know, that kung fu at least. Yeah, we're too used to watching MMA and The Rock, you know, punch people in the face. Yeah, that's very to true. Remember, <laughs> to remember that martial arts really based off of kata, which is like, well, original, blah, 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 which is like very forms and, and you know, yeah. like the first season was mad. The first season was mad, but Jessica Jones is by herself pretty awesome. Like the, I think she might be talking about Iron Fist. The I'm first sure. season of Iron, Iron Fist, Fist was good to me. I, I thought, thought it was, was pretty good. good. Probably six or seven. I thought it was seven. seven. I, I would say hard seven. I'd say a pretty good seven. There, there are times when the series is like makes kind questionable decision. And, yeah, yeah, there are a few. So it's not very high, like, but that uh, was on mine. They filmed the fight scenes the first day. No time for them to practice. Oh. I mean, I, there's probably others too that done that, but like I said, there's I've there are a couple scenes where the fighting is weird, and then there's scenes where it's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. I mean that that happens. I'm looking forward to defenders. Like so I said, I want that's to that's what I've that. been. Yeah, that's what I've really been anticipating. And the, Punisher. The, Oh, the Punisher. Um, That's what I really care about. Oh, man. Even maybe. Punisher is going to be amazing. Dude, especially. Ooh. So I've been doing more. I've been reading, you know, doing more stuff for the page, getting ready for what we're going to announce probably halfway through the cast tonight. We'll mm -hmm. tell people about our news and our celebration stuff. But uh, basically, I've been getting to do a lot of Punisher stuff, man. Oh, like yeah? A lot, nice, a lot bro. of Punisher what you've been stuff. Reading? Um, a lot of Contest of Champions, Punisher 2099, a lot of the Punisher oh, War Journal what's stuff. Up. You get a lot of interesting facts, and one of the ones I was liking from the Contest of Champions was that the Punisher kills all of his copycats who are not approved. What? Yeah, all of them. Jeez. And there's like four or five that I've seen, and there are a couple. Finish Punisher. Oh, God, oh God Daisy. Daisy. Uh -huh. The fight scene with the Drunken Master was the yeah, best fight scene. It was scene awesome. Uh, one, thank you so much for Jazz for joining everybody. Uh, like you said, I, I will admit the fight scenes in Daredevil are probably better than the fight scenes in Iron Fist overall. Yeah. Just because there's more of them, there's more. Because Iron Fist didn't have as much fighting as I would hope for Danny. Uh, 
Yeah, I do agree with that. It, it seemed like it needed to be a lot more kung fu ish. You know yes. what I mean? There needed to be a lot more like, like I said, actual the, fighting. And there's, and there's a reason I have and... him at a seven and I have Daredevil at an eight or a nine Ooh, for comic Daredevil. You know what I mean? Daredevil season, season two, two is specifically is it's it's not only a nine, a nine it's but nine. It's just good for you. Still don't have COC Punisher. Oh. Contest of Champions Punisher. Oh, man. Oh, Iron Fist was mediocre with the fighting. Uh, I've heard that, you know, everyone has their opinions, you know, and that's I, one I shared was, by a lot of people. Yeah. I thought it was okay. It Passable. was graceful, yeah. It, Passable. I love the original. You know what scenes. I mean? Yeah. It's like the box got checked. Yep. I was okay with it, but I wasn't going to brag about it. No, no, no. It wouldn't be, be like, something like, oh, the like, Kung Fu in there is so awesome. This is Daredevil one... Season 2. Like, no, 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 no. Having said that, Luke Cage... Luke Cage was good to me. It was man. really good. It's still, it's probably ranks up above Iron Fist for me. It's just so me. good. That yeah. was an eight. It's a good heavy eight because, it, especially for me, it had really relatable stuff into the band land. Same now, for me. I mean, epic. it had a lot of you know, blackness my, in it. I know some people watching it. It wasn't fighting. It was dancing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, a lot of it was just graceful movements. Um, but yeah, Luke Cage had a lot of blackness in it, you know, and I can obviously relate to that. I'm a blurred, you know, I'm a black guy and just all the references to black culture and all the music and the hip hop and oh, the R&B cool. and all the, the barber shops and stuff. I mean, oh, it's yeah. like, I can easily relate to that movie through that culture. Like, it's so awesome, dude. And I was happy with Marvel that they actually could depict something like that so oh, well. Yeah. Having that that kind of level of depiction of accuracy too, where they got a lot of community Very involvement accurate. in it, they got... Method Man in there. They had uh, yeah. RZA. They had You're right all kinds of oh so many great that. stuff. I think it was Common or somebody else who was involved. It was just a great production overall. They can learn from Into the Badlands how to do martial arts <laughs> right. Yeah, you got that right. That's dude. I've heard great things about Into the Badlands as far as fighting. So I was not captivated clips. by the story, but by the story, but the fighting's good. Fighting That's was good. really good. The 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 world is really good. You know the. Setting. I haven't actually watched an episode. I've I seen it. Like, I like episode. Cage a lot too. I'd give him a nine for the same reason you just talked about. Yeah, it's just so good culturally. It's very it's good. Very there were good two. Job. There were two things I think about Luke Cage that everyone talks about that being bring it down a bit, or at least made it questionable, which was the ending. Yeah, very tough to swallow. <laughs> yeah, and seriously, the villain that was a horse kill. Yeah, the villain, the villain and the the villain that's what pulls it down. Season, and that, like, like I said, I, I say eight or nine for Luke Cage, and definitely nine for very, very relatable. Very relatable. So much, so good stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm going to switch a little bit off of, like, Super TV because it's more comic related. Samurai Jack. Oh. It's going so good. Samurai Jack is amazing. So good right now. Like, um, people were, like, being all weird about how Jack is with the daughter and whatnot. And, like, they're... They're like, well, there shouldn't be a, there shouldn't be a heterosexual relationship in uh, Samurai Jack. And I'm like, what? Why? Why? It's like, why? What's wrong with that? This is more adult. This is Samurai Jack. You yeah, know like, I mean? we like, got whatever. blood in this one. Are yeah. you kidding me? Like, this is crazy. Heads couldn't cut off. Like, yeah, it's they like, killed the he killed the, the assassin. Like, he never kills people. Yeah. He Diamondback ruined it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, when Pop dies, up, that Andrew? was the best like, episode. Up, what man? characters do you guys think would make another good Netflix series? I'd like to see the uh, the ideas they have going around for Moon Knight. What? <laughs> yeah, it was oh, because wow. it would be a very similar take to Legion and the mental health issues. I'm so down for but, a Moon but, Knight. But Moon Knight I'm would be so awesome because it's a mix Knight. of like Batman and the Punisher, basically. Can't wait for Moon Knight on Netflix. Into the Badlands nice. its own arena for shows. Can't think of one TV show. I definitely that think. Um, Hawk and Dove. I I would actually like a little bit of a show with them. Like it would be cool, like a Titan style. Like that would be pretty couple cool. seasons or something. There, there's a couple of characters I'd like to see a lot of standalone ish characters, but a lot of like solo seasons. Yeah, and, stuff. and maybe even just like short movies or something. I don't know. Cause some characters have a lot. Some, and characters, some characters deserve don't. it, and some are just like you can be in a movie, you know, or you can show up. I'd need. like more appearances. I'd like a lot more people showing up. Ooh, Deadpool is getting a series. Oh, oh I know. I heard the, uh, the animated series, but it's not. Is Moon, it going to be Moon Knight? Is too awesome for Netflix. He needs a movie. Moon Knight. Yes, I love. Can't wait for Moon Knight on Netflix. Yes, yes. Ooh. Hello, Andrew. Thanks for uh, coming in. Uh, there's other characters that I think. We need a Vader Netflix series. Yeah, because I, I was the thinking movie. about the anthology film, and I was like, that's not enough for Vader, no. man. We need that development. What was going on with him right after 3 ended? 
up oh, to four. Right, like what is really what happening is really as he going transforms on behind the scenes. into Darth Vader? Because yeah. like, there's a lot that goes on in the that comic and books an old that Republic you series. Oh would be awesome God, yes. Yeah. Any of the old Republic characters, any of the uh, the tales of the Jedi characters would have great oh, series man. tied to I them. just would like any character to be in Darth this Vader. Obi Wan miniseries would be nice. I love Obi Wan. Maybe an early young Obi Wan. Uh, yeah, I would. I would go f- more for a movie with you know Obi. Maybe really two, cool. three episodes. It, but, eh. You know, what would be really cool. And it's an idea that they haven't done. Is Vader like, slash Xenomorphs crossover? Uh, oh, they think they've already done that. Nice, really. Yeah, because Xenomorph is the aliens, I believe. Oh, so they've. Wow. I think they've done an a, a Vader Star Wars alien crossover. <laughs> Ray <not>, Kenobi. <laughs> Ray. Did I you know, see that? Meme? I know. I saw the meme. I was like, Come Boba on, Fett bounty it. hunter series. Bo, I. Everyone wants a lot more Boba Fett, and I want more, but I want it based on the original, the original Boba stories Fett story, and the original yeah. Boba Fett, because there's a lot of good Boba Fett. Did a little bit more novels reading about his in the legend stuff. The, yeah, yeah, and the novels. The, the whole thing about really escaping good, from the Sarlacc. Stuff and yeah, yeah, oh. all that shit. Yeah, it's just There's crazy. There's been an Indiana Jones Han Solo crossover. Oh man, they, that's <laughs> awesome. Wow. They have a ton of them. They have a cool. Planet of the Apes Green Lantern. They did an Alien Batman and Alien Superman. Spider-Man Batman. They've they done a Spider-Man kind of Batman. Uh, they did a Teen Titans uh, X Men yeah. that I just got wind of the wow. other day. Teen more Titans Kylo, did not see of that course. Much. Susie wants more Kylo. <sighs> Kylo, is Susie it? loves Kylo. Okay, what do you guys Maybe, think about ooh, Kylo? Mandalorian Real Wars quick. series? Xenomorphs, yeah. aliens. Yes, I know about that. That is my language. Yes, aliens are great. Love Ripley. Love the thing. There's a new. There's a couple series coming out. I think Aliens Defiant is the new movie, right? Or is that the no? Nah, the series? movie that's coming up is Covenant. Covenant. Okay, so that's the movie, and then the series, the anim, the comic series that's coming out right now is Defiance. Defiance. Mm-hmm. And uh, I only remember because he had some copies the other day. Kylo Dash for the win. Dash Raindark. Kylo is too dark. emo for me. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is. Kylo Same made me. me sad. Dude, oh, it reminds so me. It, made, it reminds me of the meme earlier where it's like. Barry is now turned into uh, Spider-Man 3 Toby. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. So depressed. That was so funny, though, guys. It was so great. Um, So we'll move on from TV uh, uh, series that have been to more about TV series that will be. Tell us what was your favorite part about the Defenders trailer. Also, should we do a Defenders trailer reaction? Yeah, would you guys like us to do a Defenders trailer it's up reaction? To you. You guys tell us it was. I mean, I thought it was amazing. It was so good. I can watch, watch it, it again, again right again, now again. if you guys want us to. They also Let's have go. the Runaways trailer, and we've already done the Inhumans, the Inhumans trailer, trailer, but, but still, the I'll check it out. The X Men: The Gifted teaser is out. Oh, did you really? see that? Nope. Oh man, it's great! It's that. the teaser for the new X Men series. I agree series. with the Mandalorian part. That yeah, definitely. Those who know me can hear the sarcasm a, dripping off a... my words. Yes, Alien Covenant next week. Yes, yep. Alien Covenant. I'm much hyped for that. Much hype, all the wow, much yes. And uh, thank you to everyone watching right now. By the way, we really do appreciate it, and we do have that prize of the Rocky Raccoon poster that we showed a couple weeks ago because that was not picked up in prizes. And any prizes that aren't picked up, we re-auction. Yep. Or we reprise. So, um, you know, I'm really, really digging the the short trailer I saw for The Runaways, too. Yeah. It was um, so it awesome. good. It was very to the point. It showed a lot of, like, effects that they might be doing. I mean, if and it looks like they're staying super true to the story. I have no interest in seeing Alien Covenant. What? Oh, Why, Alien Susie? Covenant looks awesome. All this talk of aliens which is makes a pretty me want to game. play Prey. Yeah, which pretty is good really game. awesome. I, 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 I was a little oh, sketchy it awesome. about it. Blasphemy. blasphemy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks of boring. Of course, blasphemy. Uh, Alien Covenant everywhere. looks awesome. Boring. Susie gets a pass because she's a big fan, but man. Oh, aliens, man. Aliens does not look boring. That looks awesome. I'm so and Prey hyped. is great if you're talking about Prey. Prey is awesome. Prey is at least a 7 out of 10, if not higher. I would say 7.5, bro. I'm more sad they didn't do Alien 5, though, with Neil Blomkamp directing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know about the I Blomkamp one. I think I would just one. leave it at this prequel here. <laughs> they gotta do them right. They always end up chopping them. The first three Aliens were pretty good, and then after that they did the fourth one. The prequel, wasn't it? 
Yeah, no, that one was not was Prometheus the, or whatever. Well, that's Prometheus, yeah, but they did like an Another Alien Four, four yeah, where it was okay, like Resurrection okay. or something. Yeah, I remember. Need I more A V P yeah. versus yeah, President. I'd yes. be down for You could do that forever. What is up, up, my dudes? dudes? Ever What's up, Ever? It's good welcome to see back, you again. Man. Welcome from I forget. Ever is from California, was it? Uh, uh, welcome back. Let us know where you're from, bro. You already know, of course. I'm stoked for it. Jeez, guys. More blasphemies. Come on, you can't go wrong with Sigourney coming. That's true. Yeah, Ooh, Sigourney coming back was, was, was always going to be great. Texas. Nice. Welcome from Texas. Texas. I knew it was down south somewhere. Yeah. Nice. So, we know we're talking about these new ones, and we talk about the Runaways, the Finish. For those who don't know, Runaways is an awesome series, <laughs> comic book wise. Comic you gotta series. check it out. Probably one of the best comic book series of the 2000s period. Yeah, I need to read way more of that. I think yeah, they got like one three of them. Oh my god, and they're god, all so go good. Way and more of them. And, and so they're going to translate that into a series on a special release platform, which is the only thing I'm worried about because I'm going to have to go get this platform to watch this goddamn series. <sighs> which platform is it? I don't it? even... Well, have, let me look it up. What? Uh, for some you. reason, I thought it was Hulu. Runaways release. Oops. Oh, no, no, it should be all right. <laughs> Because uh, I definitely know that Cloak and Dagger is coming on. Maybe that was the channel one, yeah. that was. That was weird. Yeah, okay, was like, yeah. Sorry, Runaways is Hulu. It's Cloak and Dagger. That's I'm what thinking I thought. Cloak of. and Dagger came that's out on, on the... that weird. Or no, that's a channel, dude. That's a channel. Is it, is it like Freeform or what channel? Freeform, Freeform. So it came out on Freeform, um, or which is a channel. Out. It's not out yet. Right? Rep in Canada. All the best comic book characters came from Canada. I mean, I can't lie. My favorite cam- comic book character is Canadian, so, you know. There you go. Freaking Logan. Oh, man. There's my top ten characters. Wolverine, Logan, Weapon X. <laughs> oh, man, Logan. <laughs> uh, is a Sigourney the getting Wolverine. up there in age? Need more high-quality actors for great classic continuations. Eh, but she portrays a great villain. So. She's also the face of that series like as Justin much as Justin Bieber? Be. Oh, Ooh, all the best comic Nova book villains. Nova is a Canadian. Ooh. Ooh, he's calling it out. There's a, there's a pretty Either good amount Spider-Man, of Spider-Man, sorry. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of good non-Canadian uh, characters. Captain Canada is awesome, though. Uh, I mean, he was pretty awesome. X. As a Spider-Man, he's now. basically Canadian no, anyways. He he's not. Maybe. He ain't Canadian. Funny, funny fact, Spider-Man has a rule to never go to New Jersey. <laughs> yep. Yes, he does. Queens. He is from Queens, guys. Oh man. So, you know, we're really enjoying our time here today. I think we're gonna go back to talking a little bit more about uh maybe pouring into some of the games that are coming up. Man. Yeah, man, they definitely Prey is good right now. Oh, definitely. Gotta try that out a little bit. And I thought it was really awesome. Uh the new Heroes of the Storm 2.0 update is out. Uh it's pretty interesting. They changed yeah. all the maps and a little bit of the way the functions are. It's still good, basically man. the same, but you're just gonna have to readjust a bit. And for new players, it's great because you have a chance to like earn a bunch of characters if you go and play now while the limited time play thing is going. Mm-hmm. You know, which is always good for new players. You gotta have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, and by the way, I caught the very tail end. By the way, my buddy Kyle you happen to ever watch the video, man? I got to catch the uh, tail end of the beta release of Injustice Two. Oh, nice! Like I got to get a little bit of fighting in that. Nice. Oh, so good! That man, those combos are just amazing. I got a little oh, bit of the beta in on is amazing. Uh, uh, Frontier, nice. not Frontier, uh, uh, Wait, Battlefront. What? Yeah, back two. Because they had the free beta going. Sai told me about it. They had the free beta going for Xbox users. So I got to try yeah, out a couple. I don't, it I don't have an so Xbox. It is so much better, yeah, and I don't have the, the PlayStation, so. I'm going to have to get that and the Switch here soon. Oh, man, the Switch. I'm hearing very good things My about My friend Breath actually the has the Switch. He was nice. showing me the Mario Kart runs well. Yeah, um, I heard that was great as well. He said, uh, he said uh, Link is definitely by far the best game and that it's amazing. You know, there's a Legend lot of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Injustice 2 is awesome. Good story. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Play yes, hot. it is so good. Hots is amazing. The now. Switch. Hots is amazing now. It, more so because it's more interactive. And, but there was a beta for just Battlefront 2. There yeah, was Kevin, like a free I had, beta. I mean, I totally didn't get to get that. I'm pretty sure, anyway. That's what I was wondering. I Unless I got a code from him. Yeah, thanks for bragging it up, Andrew. We know you like it, man. He ended up getting one. And 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the Best Buy in time. I was like an hour late to get one. So, yeah, that happened. That happened. What else? Destiny 2 is coming up as well. There hasn't been a beta for that, though. As far as I know. I don't know if you know anything about that. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard any betas or anything. I just know it's coming. The oh, Switch, okay, I love it. Andrew. Winky's unsmile face. <laughs> Uh, the other thing, some games that came out recently, uh, Minecraft came out on the Switch, mm-hmm. and uh, Little Nightmares, which I saw some footage for. And Little Mario Nightmares Kart looks awesome. As well. Yeah, it did come out. It was pretty cool. And some other Mario games actually for the Switch as well. Nice. Um, but beta coming in the summer for Destiny really Two. Really want I the Switch now? Ugh, I know. Just man, play some Mario. Dude, but it's Little really Nightmares, good. dude, I want to play Little yeah, Nightmares. It, it looks does so look really good. good. Love your Switch, Kevin. Awesome. Uh, other upcoming games that we've heard about South Park and the Fractured But Holy <laughs> so it's the continuation of the Stick of Truth <laughs> that's awesome yeah and it's gonna be great what system is that for which one Judson Destiny 2 or Little, Little Nightmares. Nightmares I believe Little Switch Nightmares yeah I think so but let's double check Little Nightmares but actually it had two releases I believe um oh no platforms Playstation 4 Xbox One and PC Actually, I guess it is not the Switch, but I don't gotta get on that. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a copy of it. Probably, yeah, because it looks really. awesome. I can't wait for the new South Park. It is gonna be it's the gonna bomb. Be awesome. Uh, awesome. They make great games. They've always made great games for South Park. Uh, just the way they do. Oh, hi, Jazzy. Thanks for tuning in to the podcast Thanks again. For Been a in. while since we've seen you. Glad to have you back. Yeah. Uh, and then Leo out. checked out. Uh, it's not. A, well, I think it's a game, but some of the Guardians. Hey, Tale mom. Tale, right? Thanks for coming out. Yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale was really good. I mean, it plays just like the Walking Dead episodes did. Oh, I thought wow. it was so good because, you know, the Walking Dead episodes were a great adventure game. Like, it mm-hmm. was like you got to play through it and have all these different perspectives and all these different outcomes. I really, really like that style of play. And this is this is like that. And oh, it's yeah. a really good story. Like, it follows the Guardians of the Galaxy template, so it, does, it feels fresh. It feels awesome. Yeah, Tyler, we're still here, man. Still here. Still here, still By the going. way, I'm a message back. I caught your message kind of late and a lot uh, went on today, so I'll definitely hit you with the response. Um, but yeah, dude, Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Telltale. Go check it out. As it's far awesome. and for Susie, I know you don't play any of these games. I'm sorry. I'll, we'll play some WoW and figure out something. <laughs> yeah, we got to do some more some more stuff for others as well. Let's see, we got, oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> that remaster's coming Oh out. yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. It's I mean, I wish it was a new I've one, but man, Crash I, I've run two. I'm definitely going to check that out, though. Yeah, that's going to be great, Susie. Oh man, yeah. So much good stuff. Uh, the Surge, which is looking to be a pretty interesting game. Friday the 13th, which, <laughs> you know, said, yes, is wow. basically a, uh, what is that one called? Uh, it's It's another version of a game that's out right now, but based on uh thanks Jason for the love you guys the 13th it, it's it's pretty great honestly yes wow <laughs> ukulele, ukulele is, is good, good if you like, like bandicoot. bandicoot we'll have to check it out that oh i think i have heard of that no i haven't heard of ukulele i i've heard of it but i, I haven't like played a little it. platform game it's just very like similar i think it's that's uh, awesome a little bit 3d some camera perspective oh, angle stuff awesome i can't remember what the main character is but this oh. flat or this uh crash remaster now okay we have crash remaster coming out right What's taking uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 so long? God. What's taking FF7 so long? Come on. It's going to be at least 2018. We're not going to see any more of that this year. I'm throwing something at the wall. Ugh. Right? It's like, come on, Square Enix. What's taking you guys so long? I know it took it them a long, long time, time to come out with the recent one, too. They did. Uh, and, and I yeah, I just can't handle that weight, man. It's too much weight. Like realistically you have to maintain relevance in the game yeah i mean you have to maintain it you know what i mean like there's such a thing as too much anticipation oh man guardian speaking of anticipation you know they're gonna have to do three now and they're gonna have to one up two yeah i know and it's like (sighs) that's gonna be that's hard hard. because two one up to one to me i know it did for me (laughs) battlefront battlefront i know what the hell we need the kingdom hearts Unpopular do, opinion, uh, Kingdom Hearts sucks. I'll show my way out. Uh, everybody has their opinion. That's I think you don't like it, that's series, fine. But... I, I really enjoyed Kingdom Hearts. The main games, the side games. The side sometimes, games, some of them little... were good. There were some timey, though. You yeah. know, not all of them were great. Right, some of right. them were, they were wildly entertaining. 
I mean, oh, there's so much good stuff coming out. Leo, I just can't with all the movies coming, all the new TV shows, all the planned the TV new, shows. There's apparently a new uh, DS model coming up soon. Oh, like 2DS geez. or something. New oh, 2DS. Great. But I'm like, oh, I don't need, they don't need to make another one without the clamshell design. Uh, like, they better on. make sure Kingdom Hearts is perfect for taking so long. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled. I agree, Izzy. Yeah, uh, yeah I think Chris not. Pratt has another in him. They, they are already confirmed for three. three. They're writing it right yeah. now. Um. It's just he's we got, got what a couple. He's got a couple more. Contracts. Oh yeah, I think like he has a he has a good three couple more movies. movies. I think three, four. Or yeah, enough like to that. do the Infinity Wars at least and, and his and next one more. Guardians. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they but better it's... make sure Kingdom Hearts is perfect for taking so long. Hopefully, it doesn't get canceled. Agreed. Yeah, you know if it gets twenty twenty, I'm calling it twenty twenty. Drop it, it at that. It's gonna point. be good. Yeah. Man. What about Final Fantasy? Oh, I don't care. It was great when it came out, but I'm just gotta saying, see I'm how done. it's going. You know, what I mean, where's the next? Chris one? Pratt can't make another. They can hire me. I'll just lose a few pounds and I'll look just like him. I'll take your word for it, Kevin. Yeah, I can't okay. see. Okay, I mean, your your profile what pictures about, him. <laughs> what about FF? What about FF? No, I'm just kidding. I was I was making the Final joke Fantasy, of fa- though, I, I, was I, know, awesome. I was making the ja- joke of Fantastic Four. Wow. <laughs> what about Fantastic Four? No one cares. No, uh, Fantastic Four was terrible guys yeah, even the original the one original wasn't one great. wasn't good yeah it was fine just the original great. was damn okay. axel 2020 what? for infinity wars no 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 no, 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 no. 2020 wars for, for kingdom, kingdom hearts, hearts 3 what he's saying yeah no infinity uh, wars is coming out next year don't frown Susie. smile 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 at your enemies no infinity wars is actually coming up next year Yes, 2018. Mm-hmm. And I am so hyped. She's sad now. Aww. Now, ever sad that she's sad. This is a sadness <laughs> train. Hop on, baby. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's all good. We're here to have the happy train going. Yep. That's exactly what we're here to do. The, the happiest of trains. I mean, speaking of other, I mean, Battlefront 2 looks awesome as well. Oh, I'm so, oh, so excited. The, the little bit I played was great. Yeah, Mikey. Twenty twenty was only on for like or two or three days, or never, or never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. Never. They way to go, Axel. Hey, look. If you, I, I didn't start the pity party, but I'll finish. <laughs> it's all right, guys. No, We're I'm all just here kidding. To kumbaya. We are, and to to prove that point, I'm going to give you guys some classic suggestions for uh, some titles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna suggest the uh, Exo Manowar series, which I believe is either from 2007 or 2011 reboot on Exo Mana. Exo Manowar, so it's X O M A N O W A R, and it's a really cool. Oh, it's the Manowar. flagship, I believe, from um, Valiant the comics. It's one, well, not the flagship, but one of their flagships, mm-hmm. and it's about a like past viking-ish you know roman legion or kind of thing who got shot into space and came back with essentially super iron man armor and she was like great crap yeah it's great stuff that's awesome thanks for all the reactions Um, flash rebirth 2007 so there's actually a whole run called flash Flash rebirth Rebirth. yeah i've seen that dude and it's actually because i was searching up flash rebirth dc rebirth i know and and then it i popped up on the site that i read on i was like what Yep. I had and, no idea. And so, uh, yeah, man, that is actually probably one of the best Flash runs I've ever read. Really? It is the reintroduction of Barry Allen. It is the... Mm, that's what I like. It does so much good stuff. I it, mean, it has speaking a, of Flash, the TV show right now is so good. Oh, God. Any so... comic that comes out of Flash is probably going to be just as good. The The new Flash is doing pretty good and pretty strong. I can't wait for them to finish Rebirth, the Rebirth, I thought, is amazing. Yeah. Well, they're on the button right now for Rebirth, and it is so good. So good, guys, for the Flash. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen the comic, and Batman's pretty great. Uh, I will say Green Lantern, Green Lantern is still is my favorite. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> gonna... Every other one. Uh, Hal Jordan me. or just Green Lantern Corpse? Hal Lan- Jordan and the Green Lantern yeah, Corpse. Yeah. yeah, that one's The awesome. Green Lantern, it is so. Have you been reading it? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. The yeah, I have the first volume. Oh yeah, that's right. You should. Oh man, that is one I want too. With Hal forging the ring, just yep. so awesome, guys. Spoiler alert! But that's been out for about, months. About a year almost now. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, it's been out for. You a know while. what I want to see that would make my entire year an Arrow Flash Legends crossover musical, of 
horse. Oh, no more musical episodes. I'm I watched okay the on Flash musicals. one. I was like, I'm good. I don't. That was care. it. And the fact that they all sang and then they just went back to work casually, like we're good. Oh man, yeah. It's like, oh no, no, no. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Oh man. But I do want to see more crossovers in those. I think crossovers make those. Just like no that's more musicals for the love of God. Uh, Agreed, yeah, Clay. Clay. It's like thanks oh. for joining us again, man. By the way, it's so great to have you. Yeah. Uh oh, man. It's uh, I just can't like musicals are good once in a series, and even then they're passable. And that's why I couldn't even get on Glee. I was like, I just Gotham I season can't. four. That'll yes. be awesome. Holy crap! Yes. I didn't even see that comment. Yes, please. Yes. Cannot Bruce. wait for that. And there's gonna be a Agents of Shield season five. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like even said, caught up. The Shield is a very passable show. Like it's a very hard six out of ten almost all the time. Oh, the greatest, wow. the greatest part about Shield is the references to characters that you don't get. And I want more of Shields doing that, but like heavier. I want them to bring in like three or four characters heavily for a season, like they did in the last season. The last season with Ghost Rider was like a seven, maybe an eight. Oh, okay. So they have the last season. Yeah, where they bring like I said, they are consi- they better? never drop below a six, is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. So they stay at at least a six. At least a six, usually between a six and a seven. Sometimes at an eight. Oh, never my be ideas on a nine. are shot down. I don't care. I think they're awesome ideas. I'm sorry, We're Susie. Sorry, Susie. I don't mean to shoot you. We don't mean to shoot. They that. teased shoot Modoc. Oh, that's gonna be uh, awesome. It won't let me share. That's. Try to go to the uh, Comic Convos page, Adrian, and see if you can share from there. Yeah. Unless it's been shared out because we've shared it too much. <laughs> Sometimes it will stop us, y'all. It'll be like, hey, you guys are sharing this uh, way weird. too much. But That's yeah, man, I mean, I think it was this week we have had some really good stuff come out. I mean, I with the, with hopefully, the, hopefully oh, more Star Wars stuff dude, ends then. up being released. Oh, yeah, movie. I cannot wait. I mean, I'm ready more. for another month. It's about time. At least, well, we got another month. Sit, in, right around June, June they will ish, release yeah, another trailer. Will, yep. And June then another one, and then depends. another one during September or August, probably. Yep. Um, and that's just the way of trailers, guys. Like, they try to give you that two, three months, and then they'll drop more, and then more consistently the closer you get. So you'll yeah, just stay hyped up. true, man. You're... How would a live-action MODOK work? I mean, how would a live-action anything, anything work? really, yeah. They have to I, I think that redesign. that would... I honestly think MODOK would work because I think they'll just do the what they did with Artem Zola in Cap and just do the screen face, which I'd that be okay work. with. I'm I could cool live with... with that. I could live with that. Copy, link, and share. Okay, so apparently you got to like. copy the link and share, Dre. I don't know. But that's the only way I could see. It's like, how does that live action anything work? They just yeah, come up with a good way. And, or they change it until it works. Uh, For example, oh, Death Lock. him? Oh, yeah. I think they did see Peter, Peter, Dinklage? Peter Dinklage. I thought they were trying to get him in Infinity Wars, though, or some shit. Or he, no, I thought he was going to be... Maybe he will be. I think that's who they want that's for not, Peter That'd Dinklage. be awesome. Yeah, It'd dude. Him as Modoc in a chair? Like, and it's just like floating? Inside. I am ultimate power. <laughs> he probably won't sound like that. I know. But that would be awesome really would be i i can't wait if they can do if they can do ego they can do modok they had a bigger budget though for ego so ego was very well done i really like that oh. i didn't i recently you gotta don't you dare say settings. deathlock oh. that was blasphemous hey <laughs> come on deathlock wasn't that bad they changed it up but he eventually got to where deathlock needed to be uh recently experienced this earlier yeah wow. the settings have to be changed to open sharing the Dink was always already in a Marvel movie. Get Danny DeVito for Moda. <laughs> oh, wow. Danny DeVito. Huh. Hey, thank you for the share, Jazz, and everybody else. We really do appreciate it. You know, yeah, we're thanks, getting good views and shares and likes, and we'll have more pictures going up. Today's picture was a uh, Throg. Throg, yep. It was, about, <laughs> well, it was about Puddle Gulp, a frog who was able to lift a sliver of Mjolnir and gain the powers of Thor, thus becoming Throg. Who could possibly be the person that's coming up and <laughs> Thor that comment be, that and lift the hammer. I don't it think it be is. him, but would, Well, you know what? Maybe geez. maybe, but I think it's gonna be someone wouldn't new. Wouldn't it be crazy? It would be pretty It crazy. would have to be. Well, here's the thing that here's a little known fact that I want to do. I have to do another factoid about uh Puddle Gulp. Puddle Gulp was originally a human named I think Michael or Marcus. Oh wow. Who was cursed to be a frog. Oh wow! Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he's got a he's got a really crazy backstory. 
Was there anything about Bill, Beta Ray Bill in GOT? No, but I think we'll see anything about Beta Ray Bill in Thor. If we're going to see anything about... I uh, love the picture. Thank you, Jazzy. I'm glad you like it. Please let me know if you like other ones so I can do similar ones. I really love making the pictures, and I have tons of them ready to go. Some are serious, some are lighthearted like that one. Did anybody see that uh, virtual reality Japan thing that's oh. going on? They're, like, shooting blasts and stuff. Yeah. Battling each other, forming shields. Like, I'm like, wow, that's, like, a new exercise. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, the Adam Warlock teaser was awesome for GOTG. But we won't get too much yeah, into that because no. it's a spoiler, guys. But there is a teaser, and that was announced Adam early. Yep. But Adam was going to be in the movie. Uh, but yeah, Adam Warlock's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to see how they depict Adam. He's got to be this pimp and pimp. And there's pimp also tossing. another uh, reference in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie kind of early that you'll really like. I oh, think you know man. what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. man. I was like... Ah, uh, there you go. Another is, yep. appearance. That's awesome. Or the LA place where you can use lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of cool yep. stuff. I mean, we're entering a new digital age, you guys. Cast for Rich Rider. Ooh, I'm bad with names from Hollywood. And Rich Rider, like my perfect cast for Rich Rider is Patrick Swayze, aka Roadhouse or Circa Roadhouse. Patrick that would be Swayze? my fucking. I'm telling you that he looked just like Rich did in the '80s. Like the hair. The the he just had this look of like the teen angsty like maybe a little younger but that would be my pick. I have bad picks because I don't know any fucking names of actors. Oh jeez, I don't really know, dude. Like Rich Rider is awesome though. Like I think Rich Rider would be a great. As so many too. people are just I don't know. VR is the new Sega Genesis. No, yeah, it is. It is. So virtual reality and augmented reality are the new bees knees. You are totally right, Susie. Like. You gotta have it, like yeah. yeah. If man, you don't have it, you're you not. Say, to, I'm gonna get the one. LA thing, the Star Wars LA virtual reality, dude. The Rick and Morty, open up VR, the Rick and Morty. They have VR, so much. Yeah. No way, uh, law. We don't need Mullet Nova, do we? Yes. Haven't you seen <laughs> no, Nova Mullet Nova's the best Nova? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Richard Ryder and Mullet. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. Damn. The one where it, Mullet where, Nova. The one where it end, ends up cutting his hair when he puts the helmet on from the same as oh, the pull from the comic. Goodness. It's so great. Army's, Army's hammer for Ryder if he doesn't get Green Lantern. That's a pretty good one. Mm. Nice hearing from you guys. Have a good night. Yep, thank you videos. ever. Thanks ever. Army. Come on back next week, man. Yep, we'll be doing this again. Every week at the same time. Yep. Man, there's so much going on. It's so great. I mean, from all over the place, and just going back into that Star Wars VR, man, that will that looks so good. Like the, you get to actually did you see draw the, the lightsaber. Did you see the Dragon Ball Z VR? Yep, I did. I awesome. shared that video. I was like, wow, this is so There's supposed to be great. Fallout 4 oh, man, VR. Uh, there's yep. so much VR coming out, guys. It's insane. It's the wave of the future. There's that man is already it. out. Oh, heard God. great things about it. Oh yeah, all of the wave, all of the VR I've heard is very pretty functional and already out. I know we know people who are working on it. Merkel works on VR still. So he's doing yeah, the live that's action. Yeah, right. Joey. Happening. Yeah, Joey. He works on VR we, stuff. And we really got to get into more of it because it's such a great platform and field. Like, oh yeah, I love it. And, and it's one probably one of the only places you could do real real action audio in an acceptable setting. Like, oh man, can you imagine the audio you get you could get in those games? so good dude i mean it's gonna be awesome surround sound and everything's gonna feel so real so and everything's good. gonna just function like it should and there's not gonna be any health concerns no. i haven't heard anything bad not yet. i haven't heard anything where somebody passed out we have vr or, where are flying cars are sick my thing about flying cars is i think well we already have enough accidents as it is <laughs> no but i agree like where is nah, it let's not we, we, let's need, not we have to have automated that. travel before you get that, yeah we have to redo roads you bet, you'll get all flying you'll get flying buses and stuff eventually but <laughs> fast lane yep there goes the bus where to go? Right what about. Up? Oh, here it comes. DH, hey, what's DH, up, man? Welcome back. It's okay, man. You still caught us for the last half no, hour no or worries. so. Yeah, you... and we've been ca talking Guardians and how the second movie was great. We've been talking about a lot of other stuff. Yeah, because uh, we didn't get any Guardians groups, unfortunately. We got the Guardians of the Nerdiverse mm -hmm. here. Then thank you again for Clay for letting us. But post. we did get a couple Marvel groups. Thank you, uh, Marvel and DC. Fun facts. Uh, we definitely. I talked to one of the admins, Jose, and thanks for letting us sure. share the video in your group so thanks. thank you guys uh thanks, thanks for, for guy with from marvel thank you very much uh yeah thanks for letting us share guys but feel free to chime in what are you looking forward to this week guys 
what is that one piece of news that you're just like, wow. I'm I think just... a lot of people right now are still bridging to get Guardians. Guardians like, DH man. just said he's going this weekend. Yeah. And I agree. Like, that's going to be huge. the buzz for the next week. It until is. Until next week. In which, uh, you know, by the way, it's not very uh, clear. Uh, my, shirt, Susie. my shirt is uh, rocking and Groot. Some silhouettes. And, and I'm them. Spider-Man, but his is, yes, rocket shirt with a Groot. I am Groot. 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 <laughs> Man, it's great I to know. see our classic, our classic people coming back. DH and Susie and Tyler, you know, and as well as Jazzy and Kevin. It's all great to see you guys coming back. Clay, thanks for coming in and being, <laughs> And uh, I think now's a good time to tell everybody our news. Yeah, yeah. Let's so jump into it. So we're, uh, you know, we're obviously people just like you who have jobs and lives and stuff. And so, come Cavos is one of our passions, and we love to do it. And uh, we hopefully we've hopefully touched enough, you know, of your guys' lives that you enjoy this a lot as well. And so what we're doing is we're reaching out to our community to ask for a little bit of support. Just so you know, we we decided to set up a Patreon for anybody who feels that they would like to contribute a little bit more. Um, there are definitely perks to enrolling in the Patreon. You know, you'll get mentions, and depending on what package, you'll get definitely get certain bonuses. You'll be you have a handwritten thank you note. Like we're gonna really go all out on this, guys. We really want, we really want Comic Con votes to be as interactive as possible. Oh yeah, and we want you guys to really just get the best of the best that you can. Yeah. We want you to receive, you know, the pri the best prizes. We want you to receive those thank you notes. Like, we want well, to contribute back yeah. to you. And, and even more, we're trying to, like, you know, use this opportunity to expand the podcast and say, you know, we're going to use this, as you said, to fund new prizes, to hopefully fund uh, events, either live broadcasts or visits to, to Comic Cons. Comic -Cons. And yeah, and we can go to your Comic Con. Yeah, but you, you know, can meet and we'll talk, hold a panel for discussion, just like we do here yeah. on the latest topics and discussion, and hopefully live cast from there. Exactly. You know, uh, and that's really what we want to work up to or work away. And, you know, also we have. You know, bills and expenses to pay too. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. I mean, we, you know, we, we just got to stay fed. Now, we also but... have jobs, so that's what <laughs> us. But, you know, every every cent counts and helps. Oh, thank you, Susie. Yes, thank, thank you, guys, you guys so much. Yeah, I mean, just... And so we'll we'll link some pages, uh, both on this post and probably on the main post for our Patreon yep, account. We'll, and we'll share it in the group. And then, you guys, I mean, if you feel you want to contribute, go right ahead. No pressure. Nope. But, yeah, we could definitely use it. Yep, and uh, we have the Patreon set now. We're going to have uh, some videos here within the next couple of days explaining our uh, both our rewards, why to be a pa why you should be a patron, what you'll gain mm -hmm. from it. Because like we said, we want to give you stuff such as early access to our content and our memes, maybe some background some, specific content. Some you can mentions, see. Oh, yeah. Thank you notes. All kinds of all stuff. All kinds of things. Uh, and Customized you can check that out on our, on our Patreon at www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. You guys are awesome. The nerd ver nerd nerdy verse will definitely hear about you. Hey, thank, thank you, Thank you Clay. so much, Clay. You're awesome. I really you love are, yeah, talking you, with you here. You know, Great comics Even when we're man. blasphemous, you know, we love having you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Link it up. Yeah, thank you. And we'll, we'll, we'll hit you with that. Uh, and as for a closer, we're going to hit you with some recommended comics for the week absolutely yeah we gotta go into that guys my recommended comic for the week is actually all new exiles oh, which brings back God. the exiles who are a team of heroes and villains from different universes that oh. all came together were exiled from their universe to defend the other universes from universal threats oh it's God. the craziest thing ever uh it's juggernaut great. and all kinds of it's other so people. insane it's like, oh, the exiles has always been an, uh, an all-out uh, some of my recommended comics this week for the cast and the subject are all Guardians of the Galaxy really because there's so nice. many releases. Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2011, great, great. Man. Um, Dar Guardians of the Galaxy the recent one 2015 with Kitty Pryde. I oh, just yes. got to get into that. All one. new Guardians Amazing. of the Galaxy just started. Yep, it did. Uh, MU Guardians of the, the Galaxy. Galaxy. Has hit its like 13th chapter. Yep. Guardians of the Galaxy Mother Entropy and Mission Breakout both just Ooh. started. Great runs, and then there's even titles that have been running for the last couple of ones, like Guardians of Ultimates Infinity. Ultimates 2, number 6, oh. yes! You heard they're getting cancelled, right? Oh, yeah, they're on the list heart. of Marvel cancels. I'm like, are you serious? Oh, That's like one of my favorite my ones. Heart. They're canceling a ton of them. They're canceling Kingpin, which I thought was a good uh, series. Uh, nothing but love for you guys. Thank you so much, Susie. Uh, you're awesome. Number 1 and number 2. Which, yeah, we gotta start. To, man, those are so funny. Uh, the other one from that uh, from that run on image is uh, Postal is one of my recommended. Nice. Such a 
such a good series bad at the same time it's so dark and twisted i recommend some of the new power rangers comics those are actually nova super is on awesome the list right too now. yay nova nova the new nova oh is pretty nova's good. on the list of Olympic. i know sucks. oh i saw that well that's not good what about the cancer verse what are they gonna tell me about what's happening right with that? come on i really want to know what happened to the world mind Sorry if I'm giving people spoilers, but I just read Nova 6, and I'm really pissed now that it's on the cancel list. Or God Country. That's the one I was thinking about, Izzy, that I was trying to find. God Country. I'm going to have to. Gotta take Nitro out. Talk later, Susie. We'll see you later. See you later. We'll see you very soon. But yeah, guys, thanks for conversating with us. What are some recommendations you guys might have in yeah, comics? Please give you us guys some, have been uh... making a lot of shout-outs, Kevin. Um... Is he? I know you know a lot about comics. Yeah, please let us know. We're always interested to find new pieces, even classics. Like, tell me, like, I really need some good DC classics for anybody who uh, wants oh, to hear some recommendations. Man. Uh, let's see. I got a couple actually back at home that I've been reading. Um, Superman and Superboy is one, and it was like a 1970s, I think. And man, I mean, they're just duking it out. Superman returns, and Superman's crazy. Like, I'm not having this crap. And I got a couple of issues of that one, man. I'm going through them right now. Really, really good story. Um, man, I can't wait to see it. Have you done any of the reading on Injustice 2? The, the comic? I still haven't because I want to just let that one beef up a lot. I know. Like, I get far get, ahead. Yeah, Dude, I want to really catch far. up though. Predator hunt, Predators Hunters just came out. Really? I'll have to check that mm, one out. Did not know that. I did not know. I knew they had a series out right now. They have another one, but I didn't think I didn't know that the Hunters was coming out. There's so many comics, guys. You'll never catch up, but there are a million great series I've been seeing. Uh, for example, I'm still reading that Scooby Doo Apocalypse. Yeah, how is that going? Oh, it's that, so is great. that in DC? I think it is. Yeah, because the, they have like the Rebirth Flint. Well, they have a lot of like the, the Hanna Barbera. The line. Untamed is a good read. Ooh, Untamed. I'll have to check that what out. Is all that. Let's take a look. That one sounds interesting. Okay. Usually, there aren't too many comics that I haven't at least heard of. Ah, okay, the Untamed, a drama and trouble. Okay. We'll have to check that film out. That's why I didn't hear of it. It's the a Untamed. film. Gotcha. Champions. I haven't heard yes, of it. It's Champions. a film. Wow, that's weird. Champions. Champions. Yeah, you, usually Leo knows all the movies. Yeah, and I'll that was one that snuck by me. Uh, hey, guys, if you remember me from last video with Star Wars, I like you guys. Live hey, stream. thank you, thank Brandon, you so, much, so Brandon. much for coming in. You can Thanks play the full back. Injustice 2 story mode in the mobile version. Really? What? What? Wow, what? Thank you, Clay. We'll have to check that yeah. out. I'll play the whole story. Yeah, image. Yeah, image, I think, is doing really good. Seven to Eternity Seven was to awesome. Eternity. Have you checked nice. out uh, Black Hammer, I think it is? That one is really giving me a run for my, my run. Like, it's so nice and dark and, like, man, it's good, Izzy. Check out that one if you haven't checked it out. I think That'll it's Black awesome. Hammer. And, uh, yeah, dude, there's so much good stuff. Like, oh, my God, all the movies, all the things. Anime and manga right now. Uh, we have Attack Last on Titan, Attack on Boku Titan, no Boku Hero, Boku, Boku, Boku no Hero. Oh, uh, oh, my goodness, we have so much coming out. Uh, so Shoku somebody Gekino shared Soma. a picture, and it really teased me, man. And I thought oh, I know the Love I Hate Fairy Tale and Oh, man, Fairy Tale is about to end. It is. It's coming to an end. It's comic Sorry. made by the artist from Vampire Hunter. Oh, oh okay. Untamed. We'll have to check it. Black, Black Hammer, Hammer is amazing. It is awesome, huh? It's especially the whole thing with whatever his name is, Colonel Weird or whatever, Paranoid, I don't remember his name, at the last chapter. It was awesome, huh, Izzy? I just love it. <laughs> it's so crazy. That's good, man. Yeah. Like I said, I love it when Izzy chimes in. What's up, always... Ivan? Hey, Ivan. Man, we I was getting ready to tone down this one, and now people are showing up. Yeah, we want to keep it casting. It's hard for us sometimes to 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 leave you guys. Yeah, it's I mean, what's hey, up, man. It's awesome to see you guys coming in and it participating. Is. You Thank know, you so I think much. I think what I'll do right now, while we're kind of at the end here, I I wanted to show Izzy more of them, but I'm gonna let's show. Can I show them? I don't know if I can show or can I? Can we get them? Can, will this work? Let's see. We're going to see if we can get you some previews of these before. I'm going to look at the screen and see how it looks. And you still might not be able to see them because we're all the way back here. But one second, we're still behind. What do you think of the Black Lightning series? I thought that was good. The character development is good in Hammer. One last comic. Infamous Iron Man. Woo! Doom for the win. See, it's better up close. It is, but I also want to turn down the brightness. I think that will do it. 
And so what you're reading here is, at one time, the Hulk lived at the Watchtower and formed a partnership with the Sentry. Really cool stuff. Let's see if I can get you guys another one here where we have a nice picture. Did oh. one above all have comics? I don't think don't he think has so. comics. He just shows up in comics a lot. Yeah, I don't think he has. That would be cool if he had a line. Speaking of a line, Captain Phasma looks awesome. Oh, God, yes. Can't wait for this that one. to get some more backstory. This one's great. The sentry is powerful and durable enough to withstand being hit with a train thrown by the Hulk without flinching. Holy crap. That's pretty crazy. Uh, we'll do one more and then we'll let Izzy put down, or we'll let Leo put down yeah, this heavy put ass. Yeah, now, man. The thing is heavy as hell. Sheesh. I know. This one's one of my favorite ones, actually, I found recently. Uh, and it's from the same comic. It's, uh, according to Bruce Banner, it hurts just to be the Hulk. And during his first transformation, his skin felt like unholy green oh, fire. Uh, wow. So that's why the Hulk is always angry. It hurts just to be the Hulk, apparently. There you go, man. Yeah, man, I know. That's a, it's a bit yeah, of a, it's beast. a beast. But it's awesome. He is. Um, yeah, but now I'm going to start doing movie ones for you guys as well. So Superior... we can keep up with some of the movie stuff. But Superior Iron Man movie. What? I didn't know they were doing one, but if they did one, I'd watch it. Same. The Superior Iron Man is a great run for those who haven't read it. It's awesome. Did you make that comics? So, yeah, uh, these are memes these are made memes by us, not made. made, not comics. But we will be releasing them on the page. Reborn by Mark P Miller is also good. Ooh, I'll have to check it so out. So, can we help out in other ways? Of course, DH, you can always share content. Yep. The you more the more sharing and people. people. Yep. Because the more traffic that comes to the page, the more we actually get free promotion from yep. Facebook a lot because you guys are always sharing, commenting. The more and we interact, we figure out Facebook will sometimes drop us a little bit of advertising yep. stuff. Uh, sponsors really look at content interaction. Mm -hmm. So the more guy, you guys comment and the more you talk with us. And, and even and you like just comment. showing up is also enough. Yeah, just if being a live viewer do, is all, that's okay. all that we need from you sometimes. A anything Mark Miller makes is pretty good. It really is. Almost Very anything true. is, Kevin. I, I can think of maybe, I oh, can't even think of a good, a bad example of a Mark Miller. Like right off the top of my head, you know what I mean? It's hard to think of one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and, and we'll be releasing those in the content. So if you can't afford to help, what we're asked, what we're uh, doing on our Patreon is a monthly content stream, uh, which is basically you pay as little as $1 a month and you get f access to our early content, free content. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, uh, we're going to add your name to a lot of our intros and outros. Yep. And depending on how much you do, if you do like $5 a month, we're going to add your name into the video. The like video, right yep. now during our outro, we would give everyone a shout out and say, hey, thank you to so-and-so and, you know, yep. and really give you guys shout outs. And, and, you know, as you see, we really try to know you guys. We, we recognize you coming back. Do you know, Kevin. Thank you notes we, as well. Yeah, we'll we, do some custom notes. We'll do all kinds of stuff for you guys. Yeah, we'll know, do depending on custom how much thank you videos every month. Yep. We do... Um, and and uh, like you said, we're going to be trying to make more content, vlogs, reviews. Uh, memes, Absolutely, we're going to be so putting much out a coming. lot more, guys. There's going to be so much coming because we've been working uh, just, just to get this following. And you guys have been doing so much and being so great, just as fans and like really just people. You guys are so great to talk with. And, you know, we really do love all of you. We, we try to remember yeah, every single you guys one all of you. So very much. It's been awesome talking with you every week and to have people coming back and even new faces. Yeah, every week new we faces see new returning people. Oh, uh, yeah, like Jazzy came back this week. That was awesome new to see Jazzy coming, again. period. It's like awesome oh, to see It's you so guys. awesome. And it's awesome to see how much love you guys have for the pictures and stuff, like the Throg pictures when you guys comment and say how much you like it. Or even when you comment and disagree or comment and let us know when something's wrong. Exactly. So we can yeah, fix let it. Us we know love if we it. need like, to fix anything. Every, you know? every ping we get and we see on our phone. And we it, love it. it. it it's yeah, awesome. it just fills our heart with joy. And you thank know. you to all the groups that have been interacting as well. We oh, yes. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Nerdiverse, those thank guys. You thank you so much. much to them and Clay for the share. Marvel. Marvel versus DC, Marvel Addicts, you know, everybody Everyone. who's let us Marvel post. and DC, Marvel slash DC Rebirth, you know, all you guys, please, thank you. That's okay, work holds us all hostage from time to time, Jazzy. I was gone for a couple of days, I almost... Uh, yeah, it happens. It yep. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's really great to have you back. 
And uh, like I said, we'll be doing all you know anime talks. We'll be oh doing... yeah, we'll be theming every single week, guys. Yep, for so... a custom week that's good for that week. Yep, and that you know we'll obviously, as you see, we talk about other subjects and we can depending on what the flow of the conversations exactly. like. Depending on really, what's we really follow you guys. We follow. Stuff. Yep, we follow what you want to talk about. So if we if you want to talk about guardians, that's what we talk about. If exactly. you want to talk about aliens, that's what we talk about. That's... It's guided by you. You start the conversation. Yeah, we we just have topics to go to when we're that's it. when we have no lead. We've been friends for seven years, lol, and many more to come. Of course, Mikey, we've been friends Heck for years yeah, and we'll man. always be friends. Friendship. Powerful and, uh, stuff. And yeah, like I said, just check out the Patreon if you can afford it. If you can't, that's totally awesome too. Just Feel keep... free to share or just keep coming. Yeah, keep Comment, coming Thursdays. You know, that's 100% makes, not only makes our days, but helps our... It helps our you know, It shows people that you're there, you know, when you share and you plus, like. You're, been... You know, you're participating. This is a great time to be... To let it loose, you know, just yeah. Tell us what you think. Your feedback tell us what you... and enjoy a conversation. Oh, yep. Even if you just want to listen, you know, yeah. just come if and you check just want to listen out. and check it out audio only. That's okay. So uh, what we're gonna do now, guys, is set out the outro theme, which will be the three songs again, uh, and give you a chance to either share, comment more. You know, we'll try to stay in the comments. Yep. Feel free to go ahead and share or comment. You know, continue the conversation if you want. And we'll for stay those who it. don't remember, the prize this week is the. Uh, drawing a rocket by uh i have to remember frankie sierra i think is his name and yep. you know you'll have to check him out on facebook you know we'll give him a tag when we send out the picture and stuff uh and really it's going to be all good together because you know if you guys are going to come back next week we'll come back next week and we'll have great conversations again you guys are awesome thank you so much for being a part of it. what we do <laughs> thank uh, you, you so know, very much yeah i'm seriously. i'm axel grave I'm Leo Rydell, and this is Common Combos, guys. We'll catch you next time. And feel free to share, to keep commenting, guys. Feel free. Yeah. We'll still be in the comments and everything. We will, so thank we you will. so much for coming out, and we'll see you next week. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.